Hello Year 4. Today we are doing another modelled reading lesson and we are learning to describe literal and implied meaning and connect ideas. Literal meaning is when we are reading we see the right there information and implied meaning means we might need to read between the lines or apply what we already know and what we are reading and connect them together. Our text today is called Life of a Convict, Food. So food was very scarce when Australia was first colonised. Now scarce means not really available. But remember, they were meaning the food that they were used to eating from England. Lots of people on board the first fleet died from food shortages and there was only enough room on the ships to carry enough crops to begin farming. Oh wow, so they really had not much food to eat. I'm going to put that in our graphic organiser. And I have made a connection that if I miss my lunch some days, I know I am so hungry. So I can only imagine how these people were feeling when they had really no food to eat. So you can see I've put that in the graphic organiser, that they had not enough food. And then something that I've done, uh, if I'm really hungry, if I miss my lunch. Let's get back to the text. The environment in Australia was very different from what farmers were used to in Britain. Britain is including all of the countries in the United Kingdom like England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. And lots of the crops and livestock could not be established in the hot and dry Australian landscape. Now I've put in the graphic organiser something that I just read which was that there were different environments. Britain to Australia, they were both different. And something that I've seen or heard before is that Britain is very cold and green. Now I've never been there, but I've seen it on TV. Whereas Australia, where we live, is really hot and dry. And I know there are some deserts in the middle of Australia. So they are really different environments. Let's continue reading. Government employed convicts were given three kilograms of beef, 1.3 kilograms of maize, which I know is like flour, and 0.9 kilograms of sugar to eat each week. Oh wow, that is a lot of sugar. Now I've put in the graphic organiser from the text that the convicts were eating beef, maize, which we said was like flour, and sugar. Now something I've read to make that connection is that there were lots of cattle in Australia, which I know would explain why that the convicts had a lot of beef to eat. Let's have another look at our learning intention. So today we were learning to describe the literal and implied meaning and connect ideas. And we did a really good job of that. We found lots of facts, lots of literal information and read between the lines and made some connections to what we have seen in our life where we've read, seen or heard. And we were able to make some implied meaning and connect those ideas. Thanks you for, see you next time.